Hello, welcome to our Altium install videos. We're going to install Altium 18 in this video. Uh, to start off, you'll need to download the Altium 18 install files. Uh, we have them hosted on our FTP server here on campus at the University of Florida. You can see the address right up here. You can type in FTP colon forward slash forward slash Altium download dot ece dot ufl dot edu uh, once you get there you'll see a file that says pub for public you can click on that one inside here you'll see uh, several files that you're, you'll be able to download but we'll start off with the altium install and here you'll see i have two versions of altium available altium 17 and altium 18 uh, this video will be dealing with Altium 18. The Altium 17 install is about the same. It's an older version. Uh, Altium 18, I have two files here available for you. I have Altium 18 in a zip format, which I would suggest you download it in a zip format. You can then extract it on your computer afterwards. And then I have 18 that's uh, not zipped. Uh, if you do that, you have to download all the individual files. So. If you just click on uh, this one, you can download it. When it downloads, you'll get files like this on your computer. It'll say offline setup. Here's the zip. We can't install when it's zipped because the installers won't be able to find some of the files because they're not extracted yet. So we can highlight this 18 zip. We can tell it to extract. Tell it to extract all, and it's going to ask, where do you want to put it? I've already done that, so I get this folder. I'm not going to waste our time in the video extracting this. So once you've extracted it, we can open this file, and we'll see uh, what's available inside here, right? We have the Altium Designer 18 Setup, EXE. So I'm going to double-click on my setup. And here we go. Welcome to Altium Designer Installer. We'll hit next. It's going to want to know your language. English is fine for me. I accept their agreement. It wants to know what to do. Do I want to update my existing version or do I want a new install? I'm going to tell it uh, new install. Next. Here's the uh, features that will be installed. I generally install everything, so it's available. It's good for now and maybe in your future after you do design one, design two. Maybe you're in grad school and you're doing some more designs and you want all these features. Might as well install them now. I'm going to hit next. All right, here's our uh, default addresses here for where we're going to store our files and our shared documents. Press next. I'm ready to begin installation. Preparing files. This might take a little bit of time. So I'll probably pause here and then restart in just a moment. Okay, our installation is finished. The checkbox says Run Altium Designer. I'm going to click Finish and Run Altium Designer. Here we go, starting project manager. Altium is a very large program, it takes a little while to load. As soon as we get it loaded, we're going to license our version of this software. We have a license server here on campus in our department. This server is only visible from within the university. So as long as you're here on campus, you can point to the license server and get a license checked out, no problem. If you want to work from home or somewhere else, you'll need to VPN to campus. And once you do the VPN and you're uh, virtually on campus at that point, you can run our uh, license server again and check out a license. Okay, this says import settings. Um, I'm going to import my settings because I have previous versions of Altium installed. If you don't have a previous version, I I'm not even sure this import settings will show up. Um, or you can just hit import none. 
So here is updating all my settings and preferences. OK, so we're going to set up our license server. We can click this tab right here. It says set up private license server. And inside there, we need to type in the server name, which is altium.ece.ufl.edu and our server port. The port number is 9780. So we'll tell it OK. All right, and here is the server. We can see that there's a signed seat count. Two out of 180 are being used right now. But you'll also see warning, you are not using a valid license. So we're going to highlight this license and tell it use. It'll now connect to the license server and it says used by me. Available license, we're good until the year 2023 right now. Okay, now that we're licensed, we can uh, start thinking about importing our libraries. There's two library license files that are going to want to import. So we'll go back to our FTP site. Oh, do I want to participate? Altium wants to know if I want to participate in their program to make their product better. And if it makes their product better, it makes my designs better. I'm happy doing that, so I tell it OK. OK, so I'm going to go up to a higher directory. And you'll see I have the Altium library zipped. So I'm going to click on that one, and it says File, Altium library zip. I can download that. The same way as before, I just click it and it'll download. There's two libraries actually that we want to download. We also have the ECE LTM library. Now these are the common parts that we use here and it's zipped. I want to download those two. Uh, as soon as you have them downloaded, we can then uh, extract them because we can't use them zipped. So we'll extract both of those. And after they're extracted, we'll install them into our uh, Altium software so that we have access to these two libraries. And I'll show you how to do that. Let's go back to our Altium. Here we go. And if I look over here at projects, Altium always starts back up with the same project that you ended with. So whatever you were doing when you stopped using Altium and shut down, it'll bring it back up and show it again. So let's look at libraries, and I'll show you how to install those libraries. In our Library tab, I can click Libraries. I can click Installed. You'll see I already have it installed, but I'll show you how to install it. I'm going to tell it Install from a file. OK, and then here I have under my Users, this is myself, documents, ECE library new. There it is. So let's take a look. I'm going to open this up and say, show me all the files. And here you'll see I have a schematic library. I'm going to highlight these. A PCB library. I'm going to try to open all those. OK, so I've just loaded those libraries in. We're going to do the same thing to install the very large file. We had the, uh, EC, the uh, Altium library. And it's a 2 gig download, so it's, it's going to be a big install. Uh, but that's how you put your libraries in. Once I put my libraries in, I can close this. I can come up here and see here's the libraries that came by default. Miscellaneous devices, miscellaneous connectors. Here's my ECB library, internal library. I can see all these different parts that we have. Now you notice it's hard to read here, right? I have a description and a library and a footprint. So what I'm going to do is take the library part and slide it over. I'm going to slide description over some because I'm most interested in this. Here's our LCD LM386. You'll see it has 
different footprint possibilities. Uh, once you get your libraries installed and your device licensed, remember you can click up here at any time up here in the top right where it says license management and you'll see your licensing information. If you're having a problem with it, you can disconnect from the private license server, reconnect to the private license server. Here it is highlighted. I can tell it use. And now I'm licensed again. I can go right back to my projects. Take a look at my projects. Take a look at some schematics. So I have all that available. All right. Well, that should about do it for this first video. This should get your Altium installed and get you licensed and you should be able to also download the libraries and install the libraries. Uh, we'll have many more videos to explain how to start projects and uh, place your parts and move them to PCBs. Uh, but you'll see there'll be several more videos. Thanks for watching.